Collet blocks are a great way to quickly index a part that's held on a 5C collet. Blocks are available commercially with 4 and 6 sides, which lets you get the most commonly needed indexings, 2, 3, 4, and 6. You can use them to hold anything that will fit in a 5C collet, which holds parts up to an inch and an eighth in diameter. There are other tools available with 5C shanks that will also work in these, such as fixture mounts, which are 5C shanks with a solid face that can be machined to fit your part. These are available in a variety of diameters and lengths. There are also small lathe chucks with 5C shanks available for holding larger workpieces. This one happens to be a four jaw, but there are three jaw chucks available as well. In use, the blocks are held in the mill vise and flipped to the different sides to index the part. The four-sided block allows easy indexing to 90 or 180 degrees, as well as 45 degrees if you use a V-block on the corner. The six-sided block allows indexing for two, three, six, or 12 sides, depending on whether you grip the block on the flats or on the corners. It's a good idea to use these in conjunction with a table stop or a vice stop to locate the block in the same position in the vice for each index. You can also use a parallel on the vice jaws as a stop for quick work. The collet is closed with either a threaded ring, which requires a spanner wrench, or the cam lever. Both draw the collet in against the taper in the block. When using the cam, Put the lever in the tightened position and thread it onto the collet until it starts to get tight on the part. Then switch it to the loosened position and give it a quarter turn more and retighten the lever. This is usually enough to get a good grip on the part. The cam is somewhat quicker for making multiple parts, but the threaded ring still allows you to use a collet stop. Collet blocks are tools that every shop should have and the set is reasonably affordable. At the time of this video, they can be purchased for between $50 and $75 depending on the website. It's not too hard to make the blocks yourself with any number of sides. The most important detail is that the bore is centered on the block. You can make them out of material that is already hardened, like 4140 heat treated, or out of a hardenable steel if you have heat treating capabilities. A lot of people have made 8 and 10 sided blocks to supplement the set of square and hex blocks. I've put prints for those down in the description. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please consider hitting the like and subscribe buttons down below. Leave me a comment down there if you have any questions or funny jokes about ducks. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.